Good afternoon. Um, I was going to do a speech on my church, Universal Unitarianism, and uh, people that touched me, I wrote the speech, but yesterday I saw about the gun violence in Oregon, and I heard about a uh, niece who was shot on Monday night, just nothing serious. I mean, she'll be okay. It could have been a lot worse. And that happened in Oregon. And then just uh, yesterday in Fresno, two young teenagers were shot and killed. And a month ago, um, their older brother was killed. So a friend of mine called up and they were crying and their mother called them because she knew the family and talked to her and wanted her to pray and whatnot. And this other young person said they felt like, well, Young people were going crazy. Everybody has guns, and they were all afraid and scared. And it's really sad. And the main gun reason issue in America a lot of times, I mean, I was born with cerebral palsy and in a wheelchair. And I always thought that, you know, we were told as children that we were here to, to believe in God, love, and Jesus Christ. But if you didn't believe in those things, It'd be nice if you believed in love and respect. One of the main problems why we have with guns in America is, well, I think people don't respect themselves or each other. We're afraid. We're too connected to technology, and we freak ourselves out daily. If people weren't afraid of each other and respected one another, they wouldn't harm one another like they have been daily. Like on TV, many adults are to blame, politicians, movies, music, or whatever. You hear Donald Trump who raises a Bible in his hand, and then he'll knock down other people and act like a bully and make fun of them. We live in a society where people get angry and they give up on themselves and overwhelmed because they think they don't measure up to others. So a lot of times, well, they'll take out violence, and, and then that way they're seen, and they feel that they're not invisible. Pretty sad that before this guy shot these people, he asked them what their religion was, and they said, well, you'll meet God now. Maybe he was upset, too, of Christians condemning and judging people. Or maybe, who knows what, maybe he didn't believe in anything of himself. So he figured, what the hell? I'm going to just take out as many people as I can and die. If there's nothing else after this life, then I have nothing to lose and my pain will be done. So we as adults in our churches and our communities and whatnot and school, we all have to get back to basics of listening to one another, respecting one another, not hurting one another as we do daily. Well, just some thoughts here. Have a good day. Peace and love.